People seem to enjoy my video about Shakespeare yesterday, so I'm gonna follow that up with a video about Nietzsche. I'm not an expert on Nietzsche. I'm probably not even pronouncing it right. I'm not an expert on anything except for Manet, so take everything that I'm saying as just my personal interpretation from a very layman's point of view. I'm gonna give you three quotes. I'm gonna give you three pieces of Manet related to the quotes that I'm saying. So the first one is, give me today for once the worst throw of your dice destiny. Today I transmute everything into gold. So I have the Manet gold dice and that quote to me kind of means anything can happen day to day in your life. It could be very bad, but you can always turn something into a positive either by using it as a learning experience or trying to improve something that went wrong. Um, the second quote is, whatever is gold does not glitter, a gentle radiance belongs to the nobles of metals. And I have the gold crown ring for that. And gold is literally a, a noble metal. So if you look at the periodic table of elements, it's one of eight noble metals on the table. So only four of those um, noble metals are used broadly as commodities, and one of them is discernible by color, and that's gold. Everything I know about noble metals and gold comes from Roy Sabag and Josh Crum the original founders of Gold Money and Monet. So all the credit goes to them on that one. The third quote is, there is always some madness in love, but there's always some reason in madness. And they have the gold heart earrings for that one. So what that means to me is that, um, you know, love isn't always uh, explainable by, by reason um, completely, because some of it is just a little bit of a mystery of, of why you met that person when you did and um, where this feeling comes from. But there's also um, specific reasons why you love somebody. A lot of a lot of little reasons, and those are very um, important. In fact, maybe maybe more important than than the bigger reason is, is the everyday experience you have with that person, and the reasons that you continue to be with them and that continue to love them. So that's a really important one because um, you know love is probably one of the most important things in life. So that's my uh, talk on Nietzsche, and uh, thanks for listening today.